To God the Glory, Chapter 2, Mystery Tree. Yea, nothing is impossible to him who believes. Actually, to him that knows, gnosis. As those first two seals are removed, the hardness from the heart and the blindness from the mind, the other five will follow. To all mankind. Kind? Be kind. The first two are the same, only for some they are more solid and more difficult to remove. The other five seals that remain will automatically follow the releasing of the first two. For each of these other five seals vary according to the weaknesses within each of you. These other seals are your prides and prejudices, your jealousies and fears, your greeds and secret abominations, your lusts and hates and evils. These are seals to your progress, and each will be dissolved by the sanctifying glory of my flowing, outpouring love and light as you permit it to be shed forth through your hearts. Yea, for you, beloved ones, who have opened up your great heart centers to my love, the doors of my kingdom will be opened. As you love God with all your hearts, the great heart center of your souls will open to the glory of the great Christ light that is continually knocking at the door of your consciousness, your awareness. And thus is your consciousness awakened and the seal removed from your minds. As this light of love is permitted to come forth in you, it sweeps all negative forces before it, and you will feel yourselves being gradually filled with its divine rays and purified from all your weaknesses, oh, 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 which have been your seals. Within this love and light of Christ is the glory and the power to fulfill all the promises and to fulfill all things. It is yours to utilize if you will not doubt nor be of little faith. For you, my beloved ones, the mist enfolding the tree of life will be dissolved. For you, there need be no more mystery or mist tree. For the tree of life will ever be clearly seen and forever and forever shall you have access to the fruit thereof. For the fruit of the tree of life is the love of God that must be shed forth through the hearts of the children. 